Hi guys, in today's video I will show you how to fix a problematic STL file for 3D printing. STL file carries an information about the 3D object, more accurately about its meshed surface, which is created by triangles. If the model has more details, it also has more triangles. A lot of modern slicers can partially fix some problems automatically, but if you do it by yourself, it is much more precise. Your model should be fixed when it is not solid. It means there are some missing triangles. Slicer can repair smaller issues, but you need to do that on your own if there are some bigger errors. You can also find objects which were created from parts that were designed separately. Because of that, here you can find doubled faces. Models can also have triangles flipped inwards. Slicer therefore can't recognize the surface properly and will create a problematic G-code. Objects should not have small amount of triangles if you don't want to have your model blocky. Errors can make Slicer illegible to read the STL file, problematic G-code or printing issues. Make printable works automatically. After logging in, you upload your corrupted STL file with web interface. The site analyzes it and offers a fix. Time of correction depends on the complexity of your object and amount of errors. Then you just download your repaired STL file or directly export to G-Code using this service. NetFab Basic offers you an intelligent automatic and manual fixing method. You can repair individual triangles by yourself, but automatic method works just fine. In paid version you can find more ways to correct, however, the basic version is enough for pretty much everything. There are a lot of alternatives you can use. The other best known is probably an open source program MeshLab. Its advantage is support for many different file types. Personally, I prefer the NetFabs interface more. In the next video I will show you how to properly position your model before printing. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss it.